Hello and welcome to this week's AFL Matters Grill the Gaffer and with the AFC Wimbledon manager Neil Adley. Neil, these are the questions that we've been asking people to send in to ask you. Right, here we go. This, uh, the first one, when do I, not I, when do I decide to use the long ball? When do I decide to use the long ball? Um, I would say... Uh, Never? Yeah. <laughs> it, depends on what your, it depends on what your style is. I, I would say that um, the long ball, the best use of the long ball, if you're, if you're not a long ball team, mm. is when you're being pressed. Mm -hmm. So uh, we always talk to players about playing beyond the press. And uh, if, if your opposition are trying to close you down in numbers, mm -hmm. um, to go beyond that, sometimes the long ball is the option. OK, OK. Um, jelly Babies, before a game or half-time? Uh, have to be half time. Okay. Um, is that for management and players alike? Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it would be hyper on the bench. <laughs> so um, no, it's. I think it's just uh, it's uh, half time and after the game probably are the two times. Mm -hmm. Half time just to give you that little bit of a sugar rush. But mm -hmm. if you have it before, I think you can end up with a a little bit of a lull mm -hmm. uh, at some point during the game. It's it's too much of a spike okay. in, in in your energy. Don't want a half time. Uh, sorry, uh, ha we're halfway through the first half. Depression there. No. Um, right. When do you decide who travels with the squad for the next? game um, probably the day before you never know with injuries you never know with uh, you know illnesses stuff like that you you normally uh, put the squad up so if we're traveling on a Friday say uh, overnight um, we'll put the squad up on a Thursday but we may put up a 20-man squad because mm -hmm. if someone gets injured everyone else needs to be prepared obviously if we've got a Saturday game the squad will go up after training and the meeting points and, and people have to mark down where they're gonna be okay okay uh, this one might make life. What diet do you have the players on and how many times do they get a Nando's per week? Um, well, our sports scientist, Jason Moriarty, <laughs> is, is a bit Nando. of a... No, he's a, he, he doesn't mind it, actually. He's, he's a stickler for certain things. We've got a lot of good players, to be fair, in our team. Better than they were in my day, I can assure you. They, they know what oh, to eat. Oh, good as in well-behaved. Yeah, no, oh, well, right. I mean in, 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 in how they eat. Uh -huh. uh, back in our day, there was, there was probably more pints than curry. Okay. Um, but nowadays, they're, they're, very, they're very good. They're a very knowledgeable group. Mm -hmm. um, they know what the right thing to eat. They, we've got... Excellent body fats, and uh, but they do, you know. I think Nando's now is seen, not the chip part of it. I don't <laughs> think, but a lot of Nando's is seen as not too bad because it's obviously a, a healthy white meat and mm -hmm. a bit of pizza bread, etc. So it's it's uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, not that Neil's a brand ambassador, by the way. Just to check, uh, is there a better way than parking a bus or playing way too deep inside our own area while we concentrate uh, on holding a lead? Um, I think the difficult thing is you have to adapt to the situation sometimes. So, you know, there's times in a game where you think, oh, why are, why are we so deep? Why mm. are we? But if the opposition are playing four up because they're chasing the game mm -hmm. and, and really bombarding you, you've got, you either hold on to the lead and see your jobs through, honestly, or you take a risk and leave 4v4 four four at the back mm. and, and try and catch Is there a perception element to that? People say parking the bus is a negative thing, mm. but... Defending as a team, that's not a negative thing, is it? No, it's not. And, and there's a real honesty in our group. And sometimes if you're one nil up and you've got 10 minutes to go and people are tracking their runners, but the opposition are making a hell of a lot more runs forward, mm -hmm. you end up sometimes, you know, with your wide players ending up in fullback areas mm -hmm. because they're trying to see the job through. They don't want to be the one who lets their man go and costs us the three points or the two points. Mm -hmm. Super stuff. Thank you very much, Neil. Pleasure.